Hi everybody, welcome to Petra's Happy Place. Look what I have in front of me. I have a canvas. This is um, just a portion of what I'm working on right now and I thought I would just take a few minutes and go over just like from a newbie diamond painter to another newbie diamond painter. So if you've never worked on a canvas before, um, don't think of me as the end all be all. Please, please, please. I'm just starting off myself, but I am learning so much about diamond painting and I thought, well, I'll just start off with the basics and let's see, um, let's see what we can learn together. How's that? Well, <clears throat> this particular um, painting is a Norman Rockwell. Um, I picked it up at Hobby Lobby. It's a Diamond Dots um, kit. And I've already kitted up. I've already done all of this. And part of, oops, can't see it, part of this right here. And I've started these shoes. And I thought today I might work on finishing up these shoes here. This is the girl, and this is the bottoms of her shoes, and then her, like, stockings. Um, and then you can see part of her dress here. So I thought I would do her shoes. Now, <clears throat> I wanted to show you, they come in uh, all these little tiny, they're called drills. Um, they come in individual um, packets, um, uh, you know, the plastic, and I've already kitted mine up. This is called kitting it up. But basically, what I've done is I have put on here the number uh, corresponding to um, the color that's inside of it. And as you can see, all of this is 801, and then it starts, <clears throat> I've put them in numerical order. So it starts here and runs all the way to here, comes back and comes all the way up to here again. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's how, um, that's how I did it for this particular kit. I'm using this, this little thing I got from, um, I'll, I'll try to go over it another time, but I just picked this up on Amazon and these little containers are just like, they look like little... Kit Kat, uh, Tic Tac uh, containers is what they are. And I just have some uh, plain little tiny labels I picked up somewhere. So anyway, <clears throat> what you do is you come you, on the side here there is this legend, okay? And what you do is you find the character or the little symbol that you're wanting to work on. So let's do this together. So, right here, I see there are some Y's, some Y. So, I'm going to come over here and look for a Y. And I'm coming down, and I find it right here, a Y. And I see that the number is 8396. Okay, so now I come to my case, and I look for 83. Nine six. It's right here. I'm going to pull it out. And so I got, and it's just a little tiny bit, so there's not a whole lot to work with. <clears throat> then I get my little tray. Now, I can't remember where I picked up this little tray. I think it came with something or other. I can't remember, and I apologize. But <clears throat> I like using these white ones because they have this little pour spout. The green ones that come with the case don't have this pour spout, and I don't have one handy, so I can't show it to you, but they don't have a pour spout, and so I don't like using them because you can't easily pour them back into this little Tic Tac case, okay? So what I do is I just pour some diamonds or some drills into this little tray like so. I'm going to close this, and I'm going to set it aside. Now I've got my drill pen, and this is just basically a drill pen that came in one of the kits. Um, and I've got wax in here, but I need to get some more wax. 
and um, if you can let's see here try to find the viewfinder so you need to put wax right in the tip and you I'm sorry it's there you go okay so I want to put wax in there well here's my wax right here and I'm gonna just now I've got this plastic laid down over top of it so nothing can harm it I'm gonna pull up this little layer here and I'm just going to like dab it a couple times to get some wax inside of that see if it'll I'm sorry I'm sorry guys I am still trying to learn this particular how to work this camera so what I like to do is <clears throat> take my finger and run it across there because I don't want any protruding it, it needs to be just below the metal part see this little metal part I don't want anything touching that okay um, then I, I have this little rubber thingy on here I have not invested in any nicer pens this is works just fine for me right now and on this side I have a multi placer but we are not going to worry about a multi placer right now I'm just going to do use this one right here single placer so <clears throat> I have my drills right here and what I want to do is just kind of shake them because shaking them causes them to flip right side up. Okay, we want the, the flat side down so that when we pick it up with our drill, the little, the little um, dome will come into contact with that and it will stick like that. Okay, and you see it... Uh, okay so it's stuck to the um stuck to the drill okay now what i want to do is i'm going to set that aside i'm going to open up my plastic and now i'm going to find the y and i'm going to just put it right there on top of that y there like that and i'm going to go over let's see here and it's kind of out of out of camera but i'm sorry grab another one there's another Y. Grab another one and just stick it on the Y. This is very, very basic, but this I think is just, nobody taught me this, okay? Now I'm using, these are called round drills and most beginner or first, <clears throat> the, um, most of the time you'll see a lot of round drills and, and that is, is um, that's fine so I, I, don't, I don't mind working with either now so I'm just going to put it wherever I see a Y and like this see that one's not fitting quite right so I just kind of like force it in you hear a little click that's fine and let's just keep going there's a Y and I'm getting a little bit of wax that transferred onto that this this particular drill so I just wiped it off <clears throat> and kind of I use the the little tip there to kind of push it into place where it belongs because sometimes it doesn't land exactly where you want it to okay so I'm just gonna keep doing this little wise <clears throat> how's everybody doing today Saturday the beginning of a long weekend for many people in the states labor day weekend and i'm going slow i just want to make sure i get these like pretty much lined up right where they need to be this one is a little bit off and now what i generally do when it gets to a point where everything is still upside down I kind of just give it another shake and kind of go like that and I see all of them right here have turned right side up <clears throat> excuse me I still get that tickle in my throat from um, 
I don't know when, from the beginning of July, I think, when I had COVID. It's awful. I hate this cough. <clears throat> it stayed in my throat. I don't know if it's my lungs or my throat or allergies. I don't know. But it can just leave any time now. So I'm just going to continue to work all of these little Ys where I find them in this section. <clears throat> now, what I generally do is I generally just do one section. Now, what I did here is I really wanted to focus on this part right here. Oops, you can't see. This part right here, this is the, um, the ground, okay? Um, I wanted to do that first, so I made my cut in my plastic, and I'm going to go over that another time, but I cut my plastic way over here. But generally, I only cut a little space here, and I just work that little space, and I pull the plastic back, and then when I'm done working for, the, for that time period, then I'll put my plastic back on top like that. But I'm seeing that I have some more Ys, and I'm going to need some more drills, because I don't have very much in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple more drills on here. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and empty it. And I make sure I put my plastic down because I don't want them sticking. I don't want them to stick anywhere unless I actually put it there. So, okay. So let's go ahead and pull the plastic back again. Now I see some Ys way up here. And I'm just going to grab those. And I'm going slowly because I haven't done this part yet and so this is basically putting in the beginnings of my it, it's kind of like building on it on itself like you put one color down and then you put the next color next to it and you just want to make sure you start off straight so <clears throat> now this is just how I'm doing it guys there are so many different ways to do it um, you just oh 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 should not have laid that there. <clears throat> you just need to find what works for you. Um, you know, there's really not a specific way that, you know, is like wrong or right. Just to make sure that you don't make mistakes because um, if you were to ruin this, this all is sticky right in here. It's all sticky. And if you were to like let a cat or a dog come in and get hair all over it, it would ruin the, the base for which you're building on. And you don't want that to happen. Um, well, you know, I mean, unless you don't care about it and, you know, you don't care to pick everything off. But it could ruin the, um, the stickiness part of it. Now, this part right here is not sticky because it's not not going to have any drills on it. This is what's called a partial uh, a partial canvas where not everything on the whole thing is covered. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Y'all got any plans for, for um, this Labor Day weekend? Um, September, you know, over... <sighs> In the last, not last year, but year before, I remember I did a September thing where I called out all the birthdays for for all those crocheters and, and subscribers and family friends, you know, that my viewers that had birthdays in the month of September. So, you know what? Let's do that. Let's go ahead. If you're watching right now. Why don't you go ahead, and if you've got a birthday in September, let me know. I'd love to call, you know, just to wish you a happy birthday, okay? All right, so I finished with all of the Ys that I can see. Oh, okay, I've got some more over here in, let me see if I can move the camera a little bit. I've got some more Ys right into here, so I'm going to go ahead and work here.
so yeah diamond painting for me now crochet has is always my going to be my first love okay my first baby and i'm never ever ever going to get uh, leave that i still crochet i crochet quite a bit in fact i just finished up a couple more squares today for a blanket i'm working on but to me now this is just me um i think that somehow um this diamond painting might be just a little bit more mindless for me yeah i don't know okay so that's all of the whys so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how i do this i'm going to put that back now what i need to do is return these to this little case now these little cases they're small okay but the little top comes off this little top well maybe comes off like that and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour them all back in this little one wants to be stubborn okay then I put the lid back on I'm gonna return it to the case and now I'm gonna look at my canvas and see what the next color I want to work on and uh, let's see here there's some twos right here here and here and right in here and up here and up here so let me work on the twos I've gone over to my legend here and the two is eight four zero zero so I'm gonna come over here and find eight four zero zero and it's right there so this little these little tic tac containers i don't know what you want to call them is only one way um that you can you know kit up your diamond painting okay um now if you are a first time diamond painter um and if you get a kit with all of your little your little things i would I would say please do not go out and buy anything else what I would suggest is you go like to maybe Walmart yeah and, and go over either into the um, bead section they have these little tiny um, little tiny zip to zip top um, you know where you pinch it closed little baggies they're only about maybe not even the size of this tray here but you can put your drills in there and you can make stickers or even write on it with a sharpie what number it is okay and um use your little baggies do not invest in anything until you make sure that this is something that you are going to do and you're going to enjoy and you want to do something bigger okay so okay i am finding a couple little drills that that were like stuck together and i just kind of unstuck them and okay so i'm going to do all of the twos on this um on this portion right here so i'm going to pull this back just to reveal those twos and here we go now i would normally use like a a placer this this placer right here but i, I i'm not liking the way it's it's going on there sometimes it sticks and sometimes it doesn't so i'm just going to use my pen it takes a little bit longer but you know what we, it's just like crochet in a way you know sometimes it's the journey and sometimes it's the destination right sometimes we are making something because <coughs> we want to give to somebody that's the destination but other times we want to crochet because we're making something just because we want to learn a new stitch or because we enjoy sitting there working on that particular thing over and you know doing all the stitches 
it's just the journey, right? So, yeah. So that's how I feel about, I'm starting to feel this way about um, um, diamond painting as well. Now, this particular canvas that I'm working on, this um, um, Norman Rockwell, this is something I am making for a co-worker. I was going to make a, a sweater of some kind for her, but I decided to do this instead. Um, I, first of all, I, I, I thought it was going to take less time <laughs> to do this, um, but it's probably going to be a wash either way. You know, it was going to take the same amount of time. So um, I thought, well, I'll just do this. I'll get some practice. And okay. So anyway, um, yeah, this is just basic, guys. This is, I'm just showing you, okay, just start off really slow. Don't, don't watch, you know, a whole bunch of videos and go, oh, well, they're able to do you know, a whole bunch of this and do that. And they have this and they have that tool and this tool and that helps them. Guys, I have done that before. And I, I did that with my, um, with my crochet and I have lost, I kind of lost the joy of doing that. So, um, yeah. All right. So there, I have finished and I will, um, I will just let it go for now and just wanted to do that little bit to show you how it's done. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. Bye everybody.